Your boy is back. What's up guys? Welcome back to another review video on the channel here today. Very, very excited. It's the one you've all been waiting for and have been constantly bugging me about. Yes, today I'm finally showing you my custom high kappa build. That's right guys, it's happening here. It's gonna be quite a long video, so grab some popcorn, grab some drinks, and enjoy the vid. So, Let's get started without further ado. First off, I want to say welcome back. The last video I post was uh, pretty much a month ago, and that was reviewing the DJ Osmo, the gimbal, and the Canon low printer thing. So, therefore, time to spice things up. I got a bunch of new stuff to review. After this, I'm actually have a, sp a busy day. I'm actually in the middle of recording a vlog, too. So, yeah, I'm uploading a vlog as we are speaking right now, and... I have a second video after this video to post for you guys as well because I feel like this ch channel does not get as much attention as my vlog channel and I think that it deserves some equal treatment. So therefore we're going to do a Arsenal video after this video so coming right up. So yeah, it's going to be two long videos and you should, I should stick tuned for it and whatnot. Alright, first off, high kappas, right, let's get the boring stuff out of the way. First thing I get asked so many times is, what? Do you upgrade first in a high kappa? I will say it like everybody says it. Every high cap owner. Run it till it breaks. Do not upgrade anything. Run everything completely stock out of the box until something breaks, then start upgrading. And don't upgrade all at once. Start replacing parts over time unless you're impatient like me, which I, all the stock parts are brand new. Never shot before. I took everything out and I threw it in brand new everything. So I, yeah. Because the thing is, you might not like a high kappa if you put so much money into it. That's why you uh, run it stock, and if you like it, then you start putting parts in. Because most people I've seen and know, they spend like hundreds of dollars on the high kappa parts. They put it in, they're like, I don't really like the way it shoots, you know, and they just wasted about 500 bucks on it. So yeah, but enough said, that's pretty much my advice for you guys. And another question you guys asked me is, what part should I upgrade first? Funny thing is, out of the ordinary, the first outer part I bought for the high kappa was an outer barrel, just because uh, mainly that barrel was always out of stock and whatnot, so I wanted to get it first. So yeah, and I didn't even know it would fit or not, so, but I had to import it all the way from Japan over, which was hella expensive because of the shipping fee and whatnot, and uh, of the original retail price anyway. So yeah, that's the first part I got. But regardless, I think the first thing you guys uh, should get is uh, a slide. The phone's ringing. Excuse me, guys. Hang on. All right, guys. Excuse me for that. My mom was just calling. Does she not know I'm recording? Anyways, I'm sorry. She, she did not know I'm recording. So, thoughts not on her. But regardless, guys, what I was saying was, what's the first part? Uh, people ask me that I should upgrade for a high kappa. And I say the slide. Everybody always says the slide. I know. But the thing is, you got to really save up for a slide. Slide's up about 100 bucks or more. And once you upgrade a slide, you have to upgrade pretty much almost everything else in uh, the slide. And if you upgrade a slide, the next thing you should say, you should absolutely get is the recoil spring, a upgrade nozzle spring, a nozzle, and a blowback housing unit. These are the five main things that you need. Once you get that slide, there are four more other things you absolutely need for it. If you don't want it, and if you don't want to spend that much to upgrade, I would say get some aesthetics for it first, like a flared magwell just for looks, or um, grip screws or just upgraded sites, just get something simple. But discretion as how you would put it because it's your money that you guys spend it how you would like on your high cap. But, and yeah, next thing you know, after I got all those parts in, like the first day the gun arrives, I checked it out, make sure everything was working properly and I just started swapping parts out. So I did not shoot it once until yesterday, last night when I finished assembling everything. And this thing kicks like a mule. The blowback is absolutely ridiculous. It's hard as hell. And that's the upgrade nozzle spring. My recoil spring has not been upgraded. I'm using a stock one, but I have a 150% spring that I've yet to put in there. And that's going to be even hard to kick. But we're already a minute in, and you guys are saying, shut the hell up. Just show us your high kappa. So without further ado, let me grab it right here. Here it is. I put it in this box because I don't want it to get dusty. 
because it's my only like pistol that I actually care about. And plus, I just so sil I put silicone oil in it yesterday. I lubed it all up. Haha, <laughs> lubed it up. You know what I mean? To make sure that everything works smoothly, parts are functioning uh, correctly and whatnot. So therefore, let's open this bad boy up. And as you can see, oh, well that ruined it. The foam piece ruined it. Here, let me hold it down. But oh my lord, would you look at that? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there, guys. This is my custom high cap. Let's take it out first. All right, guys. First off, let me get off camera. Excuse me there. This is my custom high cap. It looks pretty nice, don't you guys? I think you got a pretty convincing package here. This is also known as my Amethyst Slayer because of the purple. All right. First off, um, I didn't know what color I wanted for this build, so therefore, I looked around my gun collection and see what else, uh, what color I should do. I definitely wanted to do a bright color for high capas because I wanted to make it stand out and flare nicely. So yeah, I went with purple. And the inspiration behind this build is basically a royalty skin from Call of Duty because you know back in the day of Advanced Warfare the supply drops those were the uh, those were the OG days the supply drops like the AK-12 RIP or the Battle 27 of City and Steed those were some of the hardest skin rare skins in the game and you know royalty is usually depicted by um, two colors purple and gold so my main colors for this uh, build was purple and gold purple being more prominent than gold with like the gold accents on it so therefore look at that this is your royalty pistol so yeah i got all the parts in you can see such subtle hints of gold all throughout the gun so very nice first off let's get the boring stuff out of the way Base model, this is a Tokyo Marui high cap of 5.1. What's the difference between a 4.3 and 5.1? The frame, 4.3, smaller frame, smaller hands. Me, bigger hands, 5.1, it's more comfortable for me. So I got the base, 5.1, and just a little subtle hint of advice for you guys, the 5.1 actually comes with more aftermarket upgrade parts than a 4.3. So, more customizability, right? So, 5.1, high cap. Next up, um, Let's get the morning stuff out of the way. I got a weapon light on here. This produces about 200 some lumens and it has a strobe feature. And it's also ambidextrous, so I can I move my left or right hand, which is fantastic. Don't really, I highly recommend this weapon light, but sadly, I forgot the name of it. So yeah, sorry guys, I, I don't know the name of it. All right, moving on. Since we got the base model, let's talk about what's stocked in this gun right now. Everything that's stocked in this gun is the grip, the hammer, sear spring, hammer spring, recoil spring, uh, trigger, and the magazine release. Oh, and the safety lever. That's it. Those are the only things that I will upgrade in the long run. But for now, everything else is completely upgraded. Oh, hop-up unit, hop-up wheel. Those are also stocked. So yeah, everything else is completely upgraded. I'm not going to take apart the gun and show you guys because I'm not going to lie. Um, the slide catch is actually quite difficult to take off. Like, might have to use like screwdrivers which is not something you know if you guys are like an expert like just firearms expert or an airsoft expert on pistols you know that you should be able to take your slide stop off with just your hands but it's really tight in there which i don't mind that means i know that my slides gonna fly off and it's gonna stay in there properly but it's hella hard to tell how to use flat heads to like pry it open which yeah but uh basically i put silicone oil all over this thing so um, everything's good to go and it absolutely works like a beast however I do need a new mag because the mag leaks quite a lot not out of it when I'm shooting it but as when I put the mag in that's how it's leaking right now and I don't know why I need to get that fixed but yeah starting off with the parts uh, let's start off with the top and we'll move all the way to the bottom we got the slide the slide is a airsoft masterpiece custom speed slides they have so many different slides this is the speed slide i love it it has five um f okay let's start with the rear we, we have three rear uh, slide serrations on both sides and then in the front we also have five uh, window serrations on both sides and up top we have three uh top uh, um i can't even speak three not three we have eight top serrations on the top so yeah really really cool nice cutouts to the slide i really love it because i really like to display my outer barrel and yeah 
And then uh, moving more further up, I uh, finally found our fiber optic rear sight uh, instead of the stock TM one because that was what I was using earlier. But they're actually different, uh, surprisingly. Um, the front is, it's actually kind of off center, I'm not gonna lie. Because this one didn't fit all that well in there. I'll tell you how I mounted this. This is the APS fiber optic front sight. Uh, it did not fit, it did fit, but it was really loose outside so it would slide off. So me and my dad, we came up with the smart idea to use double sided tape. And as I can see, you guys can't see, but as you can see right here, it's kind of sliding over to the right a little. So yeah, I might have to get a new fiber optic sight that actually fits on here. But I have this, I uh, have the tritium sights in green and the rear ones in red, just because my eyesight, it uh, works better for that. So yeah. And then the rear sight, it is a Airsoft Masterpiece fiber optic rear sight. I have these in tritium red slash kind of orange. So as you can see, we got the, um, got the red in the rear and the green in the front. So yeah. After that, we move on to the outer barrel. The outer barrel is a nine ball Lalax fluted outer barrel. The color is called a heat gradation because it's like heat treated and whatnot. But yeah. Um, after that, we got the recoil spring guide plug, which is a nine ball Lalax uh, recoil spring guide plug. The spring guide rod is an airsoft masterpiece. Uh, Guide rod for 5.1s. Uh, they also make it for 4.3, but it's in gold as you can see. The recoil spring inside is the stock one, but I will be switching out to a garter 150% recoil spring. And uh, that also, they include a hammer spring in there. So the hammer spring is gonna be switched out as well. It's also gonna be 150%. So the kick on this thing is gonna be enormous. It's gonna be insane. So yeah, it's gonna be huge as Trump says. Uh, but anyways, guys, I also drilled the holes and now I mounted the rail. It also comes with a rail on it in the box, so yeah. Next on the side, uh, we have an Airsoft Masterpiece Gold Slide Catch. We've got AIP uh, aluminum grip screws. Fun fact about this, these are actually, I had them special made. These are AIP aluminum grip screws, but they have been dipped in 24 karat gold. This is real 24 karat right there, so yeah. On both sides actually i'm not sure if it was 18 or 24 karat it's one of the either but it's dipped so nice to know all right moving more towards the rear the, um, the inner barrel is a pdi 6.01 millimeter inner barrel and uh it works fantastic for it uh, after that we have our hop up and our hop up unit is uh, stocked. So is the hop up wheel, but I'll be switching them out to a hop, uh, airsoft masterpiece brass hop up wheel and the brass hop up unit. Uh, the hop up bucking is completely changed out though. I use the ever popular one that everybody uses for the high kappa and that is the maple leaf Decepticon uh, bucking. Uh, I have it on 70 degrees because that's what works best for me personally and I love it. Their bucking is amazing and it's really changed the way this gun completely shoots. Moving more to the rear, we got our uh, nozzle, nozzle spring, and blowback housing unit. The blowback housing unit is an airsoft masterpiece, airsoft masterpiece, airsoft masterpiece edge, ultralight aluminum blowback housing unit. Uh, nozzle is an airsoft masterpiece uh, enhanced nozzle, and the nozzle spring is the Dynamics Precision 125% nozzle spring, so yeah. Therefore, we move on to the back. The hammer is not gonna be switched out. I actually really like this hammer. So I really need to switch out the springs. And the trigger, trigger, I really wanna switch it out, uh, but I just don't know how to switch out the trigger yet. So I need to watch more tutorial videos online. But I have a trigger already for this gun. It's the AIP aluminum puzzle trigger. It's in purple, so yeah. I also need to switch out the magazine catch and whatnot. Moving further down towards the gun, we have a flared magwell, as you can see, this is the AIP aluminum uh, magwell. We got it in purple. I wanted an airsoft masterpiece in the game, but they didn't have it. So I went with AIP, nothing wrong with that. So yeah, but most of this build, 90% of it is AIP, and then the other are miscellaneous brands and parts. Uh, the only thing I haven't put in here yet is a short stroking kit. I have a short stroking kit right now, uh, but I just wanna see how, it, uh, you know, uh, shoot without the short stroking kit. But I have a Cow Cow Technology short stroking kit comes with about I think six washers and like three different types of uh, rubber buckings so yeah after that 
check out our mag. These are our mags, uh, standard mags. Um, I need a new mag because, you know, this one kind of leaks. So, yeah. But the only thing I modify on the mag right now is the base plate. I took it out. This is a Cow Cow Technology uh, dotted base plate. It, it's really cool. I have it in gold, of course. And it's called dotted because there's a bunch of dots on there. You can actually use that paint. You could, you know, design your own pattern on here. So that's how you recognize your own mags. Uh, but once I get a new mag, I'm also going to be switching out these. That little hole right there, you guys can see. Let me, yeah, that little hole right there. That is called the gasket. That's what um, your air comes out of, your green gas. And if you upgrade it, it can improve better gas efficiency, better sealage, and whatnot. So that lip uh, will be better. And I'm going to upgrade to the 9-ball uh, rubber gasket because everybody recommends it. So, yeah. But regardless, that is basically what I put in my high cap, but not too much. You know, I didn't go all too crazy. But, however, I went crazy on the brands and whatnot and that's what made this gun so damn expensive stocked 185 bucks this gun the value of it has just been improved to over 500 bucks so yeah we got an over 400 dollars difference right here so uh i put 500 an extra 400 dollars into this gun and it's just it's worth it guys uh if you really like to customize your own guns honestly it's fantastic and i couldn't recommend it better and it's just, it looks really cool. So uh, this is my high cap of 5.1 or the Amethyst Slayer. So really, really nice. I really love it. It feels so good in my hands. And yeah, now that I realize that the only thing I really have to take care of is the front side. I think I really need to get a new front side that actually fits. So yeah, regardless, super, super cool. Uh, I can't wait to take this out to the field and try it all. Let me know if you guys want a gameplay video of this and uh, me getting some kills off of it so yeah and the funny thing is i actually have bought uh, some gr uh, grips for it but they wouldn't fit because you can't take these grips off so that sucked so therefore it's all right though it looks nice i like it but yeah regardless guys that is my custom high kappa 5.1 my amethyst slayer so yeah therefore this is the complete build. I hope you guys enjoy this video, guys. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this gun in the future. It's definitely not going to be the last time you see of this gun because it's just so damn sexy and amazing. So, therefore, guys, uh, I'm going to go and record the second video now and see how uh, the vlog is get um, uploaded yet. But, yeah, I'm trying to keep these videos, try and shorten it because I have to upload four videos today because I won't have time tomorrow because I'm back in school if you guys don't know. So, fuck that. But anyways, guys, that's my high kappa. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like it, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Join the Ninja Clan. Click that notification bell so you guys get notified for every single video I post, especially when I post sexy things like this. And like it if you liked it. Share this video with your friends and family. Comment down below. All the usual good stuff. And as always, me and Amy over here will see you on the next video which is like in the next 10 seconds so peace out guys i got videos to make tell me pretty lights look me in the face tell me that you love me even if it's fake